persons. Let's give honor to God. St. John Missionary Baptist Church. Scripture reading will be coming from Psalms 100. Amen. Make it joy. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. He is that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastors. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, yes. and to his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endured to all generations. May God bless the reader, the hear, and the good of his holy word. Yeah. 
Jesus. Come on, y'all. Let's give God the praise this morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you this morning. Amen. If you would, Kyle Heights in the back of the pews. It should be a hymnal. We're going to turn in the back of our hymnals to 603. We're talking about true wisdom for our responsive reading. And we're going to ask all to stand when we get it. Amen. Pastor. Amen. Our brother Dickens are coming down. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. We get if you can stand on your feet. We're going to read it in unison this morning. True wisdom that comes from God. Amen. 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 I will read the leaders part and the congregation will read the congregation part. Amen. Amen. You ready to say amen? Amen. amen? amen. Thank you all for being here this morning. Amen. 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 It reads as follows. But where should wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? Man, no, no, not the price thereof. Neither is it found in the man of happy, happy is the man that finds wisdom, and the man that gives it understanding. Well, the perfect job is the best job. She is more impressive than rubies and all the things that y'all that y'all can desire not to be compared to her. Let the day in her right hand and in her left hand put this down. Her ways are ways of blessedness, and all her paths are peace. She is a real life to them that they hold upon her, and happiness to everyone who is her. The Lord thy wisdom has found the earth. I understand it how he has established the heaven. By his knowledge, the gifts are pouring up, and the clouds are coming down to the earth. My son, let not them that part from thy eyes keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall let your light be in thy soul, and grace is thy name. Thou shalt, then thou shalt walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither not of the desolation of the wicked when he coming. For the Lord shall be not coming, and shall be not what he will Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not to thy own understanding. In all thy praise, and all thy praise. Let every heart say amen. 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 Giving all praises to God, to Pastor Wilson, Pastor Faulkner, all of the ministers of the rosters, to the mother boy, the deacon boy. And to all of God's people, Amen. welcome and good morning. Amen. We thank God for Carver Heights worshiping us. Amen. It is a real honor and privilege to have you all to come out and worship with us today. The words for today will be given by our great friend, Pastor Faulkner. Amen. because of our UPA Educational Congress this week here at St. John. Amen. A word for our youth will not be on this Wednesday at 6.30, but we are still asking the entire church to Zoom and tune in for Bible study. Minister Motley will tell you how and when. Carver Heights has an announcement. The Ed Rice Community Center will be hosting a meet and greet on this Monday for our new school board leader, Ms. Marie Fegan, at 6 o'clock p.m., located at the Ed Rice Community Center in Frazier. Please come out and meet the new school board superintendent. 
the UPA Educational Congress will be here this week, Tuesday through Thursday, from 5.30 a.m. p.m., I'm sorry, to 8 o'clock p.m. All are invited. We thank God for our tires and offerings. What a blessing it is to give back to God when he has first given us ways in which you may give. You may give through cash app as dollar sign 777 minister. Or you may mail your tithes and offerings to the church that is to St. John Missionary Baptist Church, 3131 Chelsea Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee, 38108. Commissioner Henry Brooks made the announcement on Friday concerning the summer camp program. We will be getting the funds this year. And they have been secured by Mary Lee Harris for the second year in a row. Amen. Amen. Well, keep on saying we need things for our children to do in the neighborhood. Well, this summer program will be right here in Douglas at St. John. Amen. So let's get involved. Let's come out. Let's send our children so that we can have this youth program continuously. Amen? Amen. 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 We will be getting the sign-up forms and additional information within the next week to come. Please text at least three people and invite them to come to worship with us. We thank our Missionary Society and staff for the feeding of the hungry on yesterday. Amen. God really blessed us in every way. Happy birthday to all who celebrate a birthday in the month of April. Amen. For this week, we have Sister Magnesia Brown on the 25th. These are all of our announcements. Once again, we say welcome to Carmen Heights. Amen. Pastor Faulkner, we look forward to hearing a word from God, from you. Let's get excited for today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We will be back into the hands of our pastor and deacons at this time. Amen. Once again, welcome to Kyle Heights, Pastor Daniel Faulkner, amen, wife, uh, my wife is back there now, they made the rival, amen, we thank God for all of you this morning, let's give yourself a hand this morning, praise the Lord, St. John, uh, this week at the UPA in Kyle Heights, if you, if you so desire, we're going to be in study this week for three days, Tuesday through Thursday, 5, 30 to 8, we have six different classes offered and I'm asking all the leadership at St. John, if you would please, sign up for a class. It's a good time for training. And we just want to thank God. Amen. Amen. So we just thank God for the summer camp is going forward. And ask God to keep on giving us the supernatural strength that's needed to carry out God's word. Amen. And work in the name of Jesus. Come on, quiet. Let's give us a song. And then after that, we'll have our time and offer period. Amen. Thank God. Come on, quiet. Give us a hot song, too. Yeah. Uh, we want to praise the Lord. Amen. Everybody ready to praise the Lord? Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Let's hear it. Come on. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, come on. Ask everybody to stay. Come on, y'all. Let's just get loose in here this morning. We family and friends. This is family and friends day. Amen. This is family and friends day. We gonna look and live this morning. Come on.
God, we just want to thank you this morning for our tithes and our offering this morning, Father. Father, we want to thank you those that had and gave this morning, Father. We also want to thank those that didn't have to give, Father. We ask you for your blessing, Father, for each and every one this morning. In the name of Jesus, we pray this morning. Amen. Amen.
You blessed us with a peaceful night rest. And for that, Father, we want to say you thank you. And then, Father, right early this morning, Father God, you touched us with the favor of your divine love. And you allow us to awaken into a brand new day. A day that we have never seen before. And we just want to say thank you. Father God, not only did you bless us to get up, but Father, we woke up clothed and in our right mind. And we want to say thank you. Father God, not only just clothed in our right mind, but you blessed us with an appetite. You blessed us with food to eat. And Father, a reasonable portion of health and strength. And we just said thank you. Father, you so good to us, dear God. And then, Father, you allowed us, Father, to put on our clothes. You allowed us, Father, to get in our automobile and to make it to the house of prayer one more time. And we want to say hallelujah, God. Receive your servant's breath. It's in the mighty name of 
for Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 Thank God for Mr. Jackson. Amen. Bring that industrious prayer in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That will be grace with a song. Come on, West. Welcome, Carver Heights. Come on, Carver Heights. We ready for you. Amen. Are you ready? We ready for praise and worship to continue. Amen. Come on, y'all. Let's give Carver Heights a hand this morning. Praise the Lord.
just in just one more, just one more stanza. Come on, everybody, let's just praise the Lord this morning. Y'all know God is keeping you. Amen. I see my mother back there. I see my mother-in-law. I see many of you that look sick. God is bringing you back. God is keeping us. Amen. And all of us got a testimony this morning.
p.m. How long has he been here? Woo! Lord have mercy. Almost 70 years. Amen. Come on, y'all. Give, give. Yes. Come on, y'all. Just give us a point to hear Carver Heights. Then we're going to be ready for the word of God. Amen.
and they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of full. And when they did not come nigh unto him, but oppressed, they uncovered the roof where he was. When they had broken it up, they let down the bed where he is the sick of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven you. But there were thirty of the scribes in that and reasoning in their minds. Amen. 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 What subject we'd like to use this morning? Carry your corner. Carry your corner. Carry your corner. And I want you to put in parentheses my best friend. Yeah. My best friend. All right. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you, sir. This morning, church, can y'all hear me? Yes. yes. This morning, church, we're so thankful for the opportunity to be here. Amen. We want to thank God for this opportunity. Yes. Amen. Before we go any further, let us pray. Amen. Most heavenly Father, Father, here it is again, Father, your faithful servant. Amen. Standing before your people, Father. Yes. Right now, Father, we ask you to hide us behind the cross. Yes, yes, yes. So they won't see Daniel following, but they see Jesus Christ in him. Yes, 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 yes. Father, we ask you to let the words of our mouth, yes, the meditation of our heart, yes, be acceptable in thy sight. Yes, o oh Lord, my strength and my yes, redeemer. Yes. And the church said, Amen. 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 This morning, we're blessed to be here. Amen. And before we go any further, we want to thank St. John for inviting us. Amen. And my heart is full when I look over this congregation and see Carver Height in big numbers. Amen. And we thank you. Amen. Yeah. Mark chapter 2, verses 1 through 6. Uh -huh. The day being family and friends day. Uh -huh. Before we can even get to Mark chapter 2, verses 1 through 6, let us say something about family and friends. Come on, Doc. First, we want to start off with talking for just a few, few moments about family. Uh huh. You can't pick who's going to be your family. <laughs> no. And if it's anything like my family, which is just like your family, you got somebody in your family that you just rather not see them coming. My Lord. Can we keep it real this morning? <laughs> keep it real. But you don't pick your family. No. But what you do, you pray for your family. Yes, sir. And you love your family. Yes, sir. And families are so messed up this day, this day and time. And there's a reason. There's a reason why the family are the way they are. And I want you to know the reason is because we're not doing it the way God wants us to do. The scripture tells us that God has a good plan for the family. Uh -huh. First of all, through marriage, okay. he brings men and women together All right. to create a brand new family. Uh -huh. right. Look at Genesis chapter 2, verses 21 through 23. Oh. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. Yeah. And he took one of his ribs and made a woman and brought her into the man. Oh. Yeah. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bone uh -huh. and flesh of my flesh. Oh, yeah. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Yes. The reason the family is so messed up today is we're not doing it the way God wants us to do it. Uh -huh. Did you know he said in the scripture, he said Adam and Eve. We got to let society just mess us up when right now we're thinking it can be Adam and Steve. Uh -huh. Oh, now I got to preach to you now. Look, church, I want you to understand, he didn't say, he didn't say Eve and 
Pharaoh. He said Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. You know, one reason things are so messed up because we're not doing it the way God wants us to do it. All right. And then after he put the family together, the, the husband and the wife, then he gave us children, which is our gift. Yes. What a blessing gift yes. to have a child. Yes. I want you to know something. In Psalms 127, verse 3, it says, The children are our heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Yeah. It's an honor to have children. Yeah. But then we go around now saying how bad the children are. It's not the children that's bad. It's the prayers we got to talk about. Church, I want you to know, Proverbs 22 and 6 tell us, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. The reason these children are so out of control is because we ain't training them. We ain't doing our job as parents. Train them up. Oh, if the shoe fit, tighten it up a little bit. Look, church, although Jesus Christ made a way for all of us to be a part of eternal family, yeah. he paid the price. Yes, he did. We all got an opportunity yeah. to be a part of the eternal family. Yeah. Look. It's up to us whether we're going to make the right choice. Yeah. Do we have any Christians in this house today? A lot of truth. See, But if you are born again Christian, look at yourself and say, am I doing what he wants me to do? Am I carrying my corner right now today? Oh, it's always something for us to do. Look, church, look, church. In order for the family to get back together, we got to get on one accord. A family that prays together can stay together. How often do you and your family get together and pray? We so busy these days. We so busy these days getting up. Getting up when it's time to go. Start getting up a little early when you can spend some time with your family now. You can't have to be at work at 7.30 and get up at 6. Because see, now you're going to miss that praying time. You're going to miss that meditation time. If you got to be there at 6 at 7, you need to get up about 3.30. Yes, sir. Because there's something about when you get up early in the morning. Yeah. When the house gets quiet. When you can get by yourself. Yes, and you can talk to the Lord. Yes, see, our problem is we got to stop doing it the way we should do it. Yes, sir. We want to blame everybody else. Uh, Look at your own self. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now I want to say something about the friends. Come on now. We all we all want a we all want a friend. Need a friend, yes. Yes. What is a friend? Oh, it's a friend. Proverbs 17 and 17 says, a friend loves at all times. At all times. No matter what the circumstances, it can be good or bad. It can be a rich or poor situation. Through thick or thin, win or lose, a friend, a friend. A friend will tell you the truth no matter how you feel about it. If you got somebody in your life that every time, first of all, you ain't perfect. And you ain't right all the time. But if you got somebody around you that's calling themselves your friend, and every time you say something, they agree with you, they ain't really your friend. So see, a friend will tell you when you're right. And a friend will tell you when you're wrong. But the, the way to do it every when you're talking to somebody, you always talk to a person with love. 
Church, church. Talking about friend right now. Proverbs 18 and 24. The scripture said, a man that has a friend must show himself friendly. Uh -huh. And there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Oh yeah. And you're to tell the church, it's better to have one such friend huh? than a dozen superficial acquaintance. Right. I'll never forget when my boy was going to school, every time he come home, he got somebody with him. Mm. Talking about this my friend. <laughs> yeah. I had to pull him to the side and explain it to him. First of all, if you want a real friend, you need to ask the Lord to bring that friend into your life. Right. If you want a real friend, then you need to have some wisdom and pray and wait on him to send you your friend. Because yeah. every that come around you is not your friend. Mama. Oh, you fool around and get a few dollars in your pocket. Yeah. And you'll see friends, these so-called friends coming from everywhere. Yeah. Oh, they right there with you. Yeah. But have you ever noticed when the money is gone, the friend is gone? Yeah. If you want to know what a real friend is, get through hard times. Yeah. Get, your, get your back up against the wall yeah. and see who's going to be their buddy. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, I'm, I made it tomorrow now. Chapter right. two. Bye, bye. Hey, hey, come on. Now. We in town now, y'all. Oh, yeah. yeah. The scripture said in verse one that Jesus had made it to town. Well, yeah. well, well. One uh, thing about it, during Jesus' time on earth, while he was walking this earth, he drew a crowd. Oh, yeah. All the time. Oh, yeah. The crowd got so big, so large, uh -huh. the number got so big, they started calling it the multitude. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere he went, there they were. Yeah. For whatever reason, some was there because they had heard that he was a healer. Uh -huh. Some was there yeah. because they just wanted to see what was going on. Yes, sir. Yeah. Don't you know right now today? If we got on the radio, whatever your favorite gospel station is, uh -huh. I'm going to say if you got on the radio this morning and they announced that Jesus Christ was going to be at St. John Baptist Church. Don't you know this church, we couldn't get in this church. But what man don't understand that he's here right now. Yeah. Yeah. But see, back then, he was there in the flesh. Yeah. And see, the crowd was big. But I want you to know, we, I asked you, did we have any Christians in the house there about a holiday? Yes. I'm going to ask you another question now. Do we have any disciples in the house? I'm here to tell you right now, it's a different now. Yes, I did. Are you willing? Are you willing? Are you willing? A disciple is a willing. Yeah. Willing to do. The will of God. Yes. Right. Are you willing this morning? Yes. That brings us to, if you look at the scriptures, I hope you didn't cut your phone off, you didn't turn your Bible, close your Bible, and I really hope you ain't playing no games on your phone. Because uh -huh. you need to go right along with us as we talk about uh -huh. the scriptures. Yeah. If you look at, there were four men. Those men that heard that Jesus was in town also. Yeah. So I just told you, we told you that if Jesus was in this, was coming to town and you heard about it, this church would be full. Yeah. Right. They'd be all around the building trying to get in. Uh -huh. These four men had heard about Jesus. They heard about it. And they knew Jesus was in the house. Yes, sir. Yeah. But they was a real friend. Yeah. Why you say they was a real friend? Why? Because I'm telling you right now, we all got circumstances that we're going through. Yes. We all got situations. Yes. We all got problems. We all got something that's bothering us. Yes. But these four guys, yes. in spite of the things that they had going on, uh -huh. they still thought enough Thank you, Lord. to go back and pick up their friend. Yes. First of all, their friend, the scripture says, can I use the word that they use in the NIV Bible? The scripture said the man was paralyzed. Yeah. But can't you see? They went to the man's house and picked him up. Yeah. 
Do you know how much time that took? Yeah. First of all, first of all, most likely they had to get the man dressed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then the man couldn't walk, so they had to carry the man to the house. Uh -huh. Now when they get to the house, the house is so crowded. The house is so full that they can't even get in the back door. They can't even get in. We talking about some real freedom. Don't you know y'all would have left that guy? Yeah. 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 Y'all already know it's going to be crowded. Uh -huh. We already know that the place is small. The yeah. place is small. We already know we got to get there early. Yeah. Hey, man, we just going to tell you about it when we get, get back. Home. Yes, sir. But a real friend, a real friend, a real for this man to take her on to the house. Y'all, come on, y'all, come on, go with me now. Yeah. When they got to the house, house full, packed, packed, jam packed. You see, back then, houses weren't built like the house you stay in. <laughs> Thank God that some of us in houses so big that we, we won't even think about going up on the roof. <laughs> but at this time, and the scripture tells us, the house was full and the men couldn't give up. But these men had faith. Faith! These men had faith. Do you know, do you know, church, do you know what the scripture said? Faith without work is dead. Uh, you got to be doing something. You just, you're just sitting around talking yeah. about, yeah, I believe. No, no. You need to put that belief to work. Yeah. All right. All right. They get to the house. House full. Uh. Then he said one time, man, you just got to sit outside. You got to wait here, because we're uh -huh. going to try to squeeze in. Uh -huh. You know how we are. We'll, we'll squeeze in somewhere now. Yeah. But instead, they thought about the reason they was there yeah. for their freedom. Yeah. Can't you see them right now, church? They done took uh, the freedom. Oh my lord! Went around to the back door. Yeah. 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 We're gonna have to get up on the roof. Oh, yeah. 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 We done came too far to turn around now. Yeah. I am the way. 
The truth and the life. No man can come but by me. Oh, then you got to tell him about the what? And when he's he still preaching that, I can see him saying, John 3 and 5, a simple man be born of water, uh -huh. and of a spirit he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Then you got to get down to it while he's preaching the why. Why, why, why is all this got to go? Why? Oh, I'm glad to be it brings me to John 3, 16. No. For God ah. so loved the world that he gave his own yeah. 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 the world who believes in him oh. shall not perish but have everlasting life. Why is he? Oh, he's preaching now. Yeah. All of them looking at him. Just like y'all looking at me. Yeah. But all of a sudden, oh. ah. Here go the man coming down. Coming down. Coming down. Yeah. Oh my Lord. Come on. Can't you see? Jesus looked up. Hey. And he seen him. Woo. It wasn't new to him because he know everything. Hey. But everybody else was wondering what's going on. Yeah. If you look at the scripture, Jesus told him, because of your faith. Hey. Oh. See, they thought enough to bring it. Yeah. Uh -huh. So they knew something was going to happen. Yeah. Because of your faith. Have no anybody in here brought anybody to Jesus Christ? Yeah. Yeah. You told me you was a Christian. You told me you yeah. were a disciple. Yeah. Yeah. Have you brought anybody, anybody. to Jesus Christ? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can't save them, but if, if you bring it to them, yeah. if I be lifted up, yeah. Yeah. I'll drop. He'll draw it. Hey, won't he do it? We just got to bring somebody to Christ. Hey. Oh, it looks nice. We, everybody in here dressed up and looks good right now. But this is on the here. We're on the here now to get out of teaching. Uh -huh. yeah. We need to go on out into the vineyard. Yeah. <laughs> the harvest. Put in a little word. <laughs> the harvest is it's so full. Yeah. But the ladies yeah. are feeling. Yeah. 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 But we ain't got beside ourselves. Uh, uh, uh. We think because we got it now, that's it. We need to get out and tell somebody about Jesus Christ. Yeah. Bring somebody to the Lord. Yeah. That's what he wants us to do. Yeah. Look, church, I'm just about, about to wind it up, church. Yeah. But I want you to know one thing. In verse 5, Jesus said, because of their faith, the paralyzed man, that sins be forgiven. Yeah, that's right. He has he has the authority yes, he does. for God, yes, he does. for God the Father, yes, to heal the body. Yes, but he also, I don't want y'all to take it, look at it the wrong way. He do heal, and he will heal. Amen. I know for sure that he's a healer. Yes. yes. Just on last week. One of our preachers was in the hospital. Uh -huh. Preacher Brad, Reverend Barry, bless his heart. Uh -huh. But today he's at home. Thank you, Lord. He's at home. Thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. On Friday he was in the hospital. Yeah. But his spirit was still high. Yeah. I told him, I said, man, you know something? I expected just what I seen when I got to the procedure. Uh -huh. Oh, no, you had had a stroke. Yeah. The joy in your heart. Yeah. See, they might take the Look, your physical body might go down. Uh, but see, you can't take that joy away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But see, you didn't joy. Get it, and you can't take it away. Yeah. It's joy. Yeah. It's joy. Yeah. The Lord gave you to yeah. it. Hey. Yeah. Look. Somebody brought you to the Lord. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Don't you remember back in the day? Yeah. When when B mama, uh -huh. Pop Papa. Grandmama, granddaddy, mama and daddy was praying for you. You were still out doing your thing. Oh, no, no, y'all, okay, y'all wouldn't do it. Let me talk about the preacher. Hey, hey, come on, y'all. Yeah, you were out doing your thing. And she was still praying for you. I know you. You sneaking in the house, but you way past your 
bedtime and the time you're supposed to be coming in. You think that mama and daddy is asleep. Daddy might be asleep, but mama was still bringing. Mama was saying, thank you, Lord, for bringing that old pastor on me. Maybe I'm just talking about me right there. But look, aren't you glad yeah. that we serve a God? Yeah. Yeah. They can do anything. Amen. Church, I want you to know something, church. He said, he said in verse 5, because of their faith, mm. your, look, your sins are forgiven. Uh -huh. yeah. This man is paralyzed, but he knows everybody can see. Because if you look at Romans 3 and 23, uh -huh. we all know what it says, for all have sinned. That's talking about y'all too now. All have sinned and come short to the glory of God. Yes. Look, church, I'm here to tell you right now, you sitting up there and just saying that, well, you know, I ain't sinning no more. A lot of us have got too old to do a lot of things. That's right. Thank God. <laughs> thank God for that. <laughs> but if you stop anything bad about your neighbor, yeah. If you let something came out your mouth yeah. about your neighbor, you, you still sin. Yeah, no. You may not be able to do some of the things, but you still sin if you yeah. got the wrong thoughts in your mind. Hello. Lord, have mercy. Mercy, Lord. Look, I want you to see down in verse 6 through 10. We're going to have to wrap it up. There were Jewish leaders, Pharisees, scribes in the house. Thinking, that guy is talking blasphemy. What they say? What they say? They thinking it now. Okay. But see, they thinking it, but they don't understand that the man in the house, he know what they think. Yeah. He know how many friends behind their head. He know what they had to throw. That mother came. You already see what they, they thinking among themselves. Who do he think he is? Who do he think he is? Oh, talking about healing. Talking about saving a soul. Uh -huh. Don't take the healing part. The healing part is great, but you need to focus more this morning on the saving part. Hey. If he don't never ever heal your body, hey. he never said that you weren't gonna have no six days. Hey. He never said that it wasn't gonna be hard on you, hey. but he said that he would be with you. Yeah. But I just want you to know one thing. Don't focus so much on the healing right now. Focus on the part where he forgave him of his sin. Focus on the part that that was so saved. That's the part you need to focus on. Because if you got saved, you know what you had. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. When I was on my way to hell, guess what? You was on your way too. On my way to hell, going fast as a race car, straight to hell. I didn't find him, but he found me. Thank you, Lord. And I want you to know, church, he had to reach way down. I mean, he had to go way down. And don't you know, he had to go some places to get you to? He had to go some places that he didn't really want to go. But aren't you glad that he's everywhere? Oh, thank you, Lord. I'm here to tell you right now. Thank you, God. Thank you. God carried. Thank you. All four corners for us. Yeah. Don't you remember that night, that morning when he went to Calvary? Well, yeah. well, well. He carried that cross for us. Yes. Yeah. Huh? He hung on that cross. Yeah. They put him between two feet. Come on. Yeah. Had he had no sin whatsoever. No. But he took on sin. Yeah. Hey. He took on sin for us. Yeah. Somebody ought to tell him thank you right now. Yeah. Right now. He died. He died for us. Oh, but we all know that's not the end of the story. Don't let nobody tell you different. Man, them guys so smart now that they want to change their situation. But let's just stick to what the word says. Because everything in the word is true. It said that three days later, three days later, what on he wrong? He rose again. And he rose in all power. I'm here to tell you right now, church. We asked the question, were you a Christian? Were you a disciple? He showed what a real friend was. When he gave his life. For us. That's a real friend. But the scripture said. No man takes my life. Hey. I lay it down. But he picked it back up. Hey. Come on. And he did it for us. Yeah. Somebody ought to tell him thank you right thank now. Right now Lord. But don't you know, if you look down a little further, if you look in John chapter 15, verses 14, Hello. verse 13, he just said that he laid his life down for us. Yes. But verse 14 said, Ye are my friend if you do, do my is. commandments. Hello. What you say? If ye do whatsoever I command you to do. Yes, now that's where the disciple part come in. Yes, that's where the disciple part come in. You say you're my friend. You say you're your friend. You say you're my friend. Well, you need to show yourself friendly then. You need to be willing. Well, he said, do my commandment. What is he saying, preacher? Oh, Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 and 38. Love. Love. Two commandments. Love the Lord that God. With all thy heart. Oh, yeah. Love. Yeah. With all thy soul and with yeah. all thy mind. Come on, yeah. Then the second thing. Love thy neighbor and thyself. I'm going to go with my seat. I just want to ask that question. Are you doing that today? Yeah. Are you carrying your comfort? Yeah. Are you showing somebody some love? Yeah. Are you telling somebody about Jesus Christ? Yeah. Are you a willing disciple? Yeah.
If the Lord said the same, make sure we have counseling for you today. Make sure if you didn't do it today, you make sure that you bring somebody Come on, that need to meet yes. the Lord. Yes. Yes. Bring somebody. Yes. Yes. In other words, you need to go out and tell people. Yeah. Yes. Tell them tell that he's the lady of the battle. Yeah. Tell them that he's the bright one of the stars. Tell them that he's the one of the stars. Are you ready to carry your home? Come on. Hello. Stop depending on stop depending on doing somebody else doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah. You said you're a disciple. Yeah. It's time for us to go to work. Yeah. Go to work. We see we have none. Yeah. Yeah. But there's always room. Yeah. There's always room. Yeah. There's always room. Yeah. God is so good. Yes, yeah. Awesome. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, Amen, amen, amen. 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 Come on, y'all. Let's get Pastor Daniel Paul. Our great friend from Calvin High. Pastor Paul for hanging this morning. In the name of Jesus. Thank God, thank God for the word. The invitation has gone out, even on Facebook right now. If you in your home, if you uh, walking down the street, riding in your car, looking at this broadcast. It's time to come to the Lord. It's time to surrender to the unction of the Holy Spirit. He's knocking at your heart's door. And if you hear his voice, you have to open the door. And if you open the door, the Lord Jesus said, I'll come in and I'll sup with him. Amen. Come on, come on. Come on, St. John, give Cobb a hand this morning. Come on, come on, St. John. Let us stand up and tell Cobb a high how much we love him and how much we praise God. Pastor Parker, thank God for you. Thank God for your wife. Thank God for Brother Thank God for Cobb a high and Rick and Barry in his absence. We pray for him in the name of Jesus. We thank God this morning. Refreshments will be served in the back. And I want to thank all of you for blessing us today and for coming out for family and friends. And we appreciate all of you right now in the name of Jesus. Much love to our musicians on both sides. Amen. We just thank God for all of you. Amen. I'm going to ask Pastor Parker and Mr. Monday. We want him to say something to Calvin Heights because he grew up in both churches. Say to him that Calvin Heights. Amen. 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 Thank God, Pastor. To Dr. Pastor Falker. Let's give Amen. Pastor Falker a hand. Amen. A mighty word of God. To the people of God. And I guess, I guess, I don't know. I guess the Lord was going to end up having me up here some kind of way. I don't know. But the major thing I want to do is, uh, of course, thank Carver Heights. We just appreciate them for showing up and showing out. Amen. 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 And serving as choir members, deacons, ushers, and by all means, the word of God being delivered by Pastor Falker. Let's give them another hand. Amen. And again, and being hospitable as much as they are, we want to make sure that the refreshments in the back, uh, our guests will go first, of course, as we bless the food in a moment. Uh, but another quick announcement, you day is coming up. And we want to just announce that we are trying to get t-shirts together. And t-shirts are for a new day on sale until May 5th, starting today. The cost will be $14 per shirt, all sizes from two, two plus, from a child, all the way up to four X. Please see Sister Dominique Thomas for, in, for more information and payment. Amen. 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 God bless you all. And I'd be remiss if I didn't say, I thank God for my father. Amen. Amen. Such a man of, of faith and resilience, uh, whether it be, you know, scaring me in the morning when I come outside and this joker cutting the grass and cracking dawn, or if uh, he's up here with the men's fellowship, uh, being a part of that, not, his, not being his church, 
for being a part of our fellowship and taking a leadership role. So, Pops, Pops I appreciate you, and God bless you. Amen. God bless you, St. John. God bless you, Father Mike. And Pastor Father bless you. And the church said, amen. amen. I must say this. Thank you, St. John Church. Bless. I got to say something about the deacons at our church. Amen. I tell you, we got three young deacons on the board, and I tell them all the time to watch Brother Martin. Yeah. Watch yeah. Uh, Brother Clay. It's more about watching them than, than what they say. Yeah. Because you know your mouth can say a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I tell them, I tell them watch them, though. Yeah. I, tell, I can call Brother Marlin and or Brother Clayton at any time. Just on Friday, I called Brother Marlin. He loved to go out and eat with the brothers and do other things. And I said, look, man, the roofers said they'll be there. They can be there at, it's 11.45, but they can be there about 12. And he said, he hesitated. And you know, Marley don't hesitate. He, you know, he hesitated for a second. Yeah. And he said, okay. Yeah. And I said, brother, if you if you got something to do, let me call them and tell them they're going to have to come a little. But you spare the moment at the Friday. Yeah. They're going to have to come a little later on. Yeah. But I'm going to just show you how obedient and, and how he loved the Lord and how he loved his church. He said, if they're going to be there at this time, I'll be there. Yeah. And not just Brother Harvey, but the whole Carver Height family. I'm asking the Harvey Carver Height family to stand up here. Family. We got people that been honorary members that been coming every Sunday, but they ain't made that step yet. Nah, nah. But they here today. Yeah. This past, we're going to get out of here because they said they got some food. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> ever since the first day I met this past, you can tell, it don't take you long for you to see if somebody changed your way. Yeah. Oh. And guess what? If you genuine yourself, you can notice things quicker. And it didn't take me but a few seconds to realize that this man right here is real. Yeah. He's a real guy. He's a real guy. He's a real guy. He's a real guy. And look, Pastor Father, we don't want this to be the last time. We want to continue this. Bless you. If you all don't mind. We want to continue this every year. Last thing, last thing, then we're going to get ready to get out of here. I'll, I'll never forget that when my father was pastoring, back at this time, we probably had about 400 members on the roll. And he was a hard gospel preacher. And looked like every Sunday they was invited somewhere. And the, the bus would be loaded down. The van would be loaded down. The cars would be following the bus and the van. And this Sunday after Sunday, invited somewhere. God had blessed me to be placed at a church where they number love. Amen. And I'm thankful. This is our first time going out to Melbourne, and, and they have shown their pastor. If nothing else, let us stay. Amen. Yes. I love y'all. Yes. We're looking forward to the next time when we come to St. John. Yes. And most of all, we're looking forward to the time the next time St. John will be coming to us. Yes. And it won't be, it, it's going to be this year. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. If all minds are clear. First of all, I want to bless the food. Father, we want to thank you for the food that we're about to receive, for the nourishment of our bodies. In your son Jesus' name. Then, Lord, may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, root, and abide with us, now and forevermore. 
And the church said, Amen. 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 Usually, usually when I preach at home, when I preach at home, I usually try to stop at the back door because I like to be the one to go out and shake everybody's hands. You know, I'm not one of them.